Hi everyone, I'm Sandy LaFleur and I'm going to be your teacher for the Broom Hair webinar. I just wanted to thank you so much for signing up for this class and I just know we're going to have a great time. This is the prep video and I'm hoping that it will answer any questions you might have about it. We're going to be talking about the surfaces that I used, um, the um, brushes, the paints, and also the prep. So um, I Hope I don't bore you, and let's get started. All right, first things first, the surface. This is a rounded arch plaque that I picked up at Cover Distributing. And um, if you happen to have one in your stash, that's great. If not, you can order one from them, or you can go to my website, and under the Artful Webinars tab, you'll be able to pick up a surface kit. Now the surface kit will include the surface. It will also include a vellum tracing of the design. You'll also get a star stencil, which is what we use on the background. You'll get a package of drywall tape, which we use on the bottom there to add some texture. And you'll also get a uh, stencil for the lettering. I know it's kind of hard to see on here, but there actually is a stencil for lettering there because I know when we get to the end of class, we just hate to sit and do that dreaded lettering. So I've um, uh, cut out a stencil for you. So you can get the, all of these things um, on my website for the price of $12 plus shipping and handling. I want you to keep in mind that shipping will be a little bit more than usual because of the odd size of this surface. Now if you're one of those people who happens to have this piece in your stash or you have another surface that you'd like to put this design on, you can order just the supply kit which will just have the tracing and the stencils and the drywall tape and um, that's only five dollars plus shipping and handling. So get in your stash, see what you have or order the kit from me. Um, I've tried to make it easy and affordable. All right, brushes. Um, there are a couple of specialty brushes that you need to have. For the most part, you can just use your regular painting brushes, your flats, rounds, liners um, that you normally use to paint with. I'm a big brush person, so I like to use like a 16 or an 18 flat to float with. But if you're not, that's fine. Just use those brushes that you're comfortable with. You will need to have a smaller liner to do some detail work. And uh, like a number four round would be great to have to do the hair. Um, if we did it with a liner brush, it would take quite a while. Um, I'm also a person that likes to mop my floats out. So if you have a, a mop brush, you may want to have that handy. My favorite size is a half inch. Um, I do do dry brushing and when I dry brush I like to use uh, a Lang Nickel short round uh, sable. Uh, usually a 12 is my favorite size but I've got them in all sizes so I can get them anywhere. And um, Dynasty also carries a brush that you can use. Uh, when you get them new they are pointy. After you use them a while they start uh, losing their point and flattening out, but that's a great way um, to use a dry brush. And if you're not familiar with the way I dry brush, you can go to my website again, and there are videos, and you can find one that shows you how I dry brush. And I'll probably be showing you that in class. And then one brush that you want to be sure that you have, so we can do this broom head very nicely, is a half inch comb brush. If you're a royal uh, lang nickel person, they call it a comb. If you're low cornell, they call it a rake. But you want to be sure to have this brush because um, it just helps to make that broom head look really nice. So there, we've covered brushes. Now on to the next thing. The paints that we're going to be using are deco art. I'm a deco art helping artist, and even if I wasn't a helping artist, I'd, I'd be using deco art because I love them. And uh, in your pattern packet and on your prep sheet, you will get a complete list of the deco art paints that I'll be using. 
and if there are colors that you don't have and you can't get them from Hobby Lobby um, I would just say go to the deco art website and order them there you know you're going to be able to get them from deco art so um, deco art is just a great paint and I love it and I use it for everything I paint on now when you signed up for the class you should have gotten a uh, complete pattern packet which is kind of nice because then you can kind of read ahead and see where we're going with this thing and um, you'd also get a page of prep instructions and this is what it's going to look like except it's going to have uh, it'll have the address for this video in it that's the only thing so um, I tried to show you pictures of each step in case you get tired of listening to me on the video you will at least be able to tell from the um, prep instructions what needs to be done so if you just follow the prep instructions step by step then you'll be all ready and set to go so we are going to move on into preparation of our surface surface i can't talk today but it'll be okay Okay, the first step in preparation is to do the background. So what you're going to do first is paint the, the entire top of the plaque with brilliant purple. One coat should do. And then you're going to tape off this bottom stripe. I believe it's an inch and an eighth up from the bottom. And just take some blue painter's tape, tape it off, and give it a couple of coats of Irish moss. And then you can take the painter's tape off, and I always recommend that you sand it lightly to give you a smooth painting surface. So there's the background prep. The next step is going to be to apply the pattern. All right, we got the background painted purple. We got our stripe at the bottom painted Irish moss. And this is the pattern that I want you to have on before you start base coating. Um, I think you can see that pretty well. Um, if you want to notice on her face, her head, I didn't go around where the hair is. I made it a nice kind of U shape there. And um, because we're not going to put the hair on first, we want to get her face done before we start giving her hair. I went ahead and took a piece of blue painter's tape and taped on the um, green stripe up next to the purple because that way when I'm base painting um, I won't ha have to worry about getting down into that stripe so um, here is the pattern that you need to have on and uh, next I'm going to show you the areas that you're going to need to base paint All right, if we follow along with the prep sheet, um, the very first place we want to base coat is this little triangle area of her dress. Um, I didn't know exactly what to call it, so it's called just the small triangle area of her underdress. It's what's underneath. And that's based in with spice pumpkin. And that's gonna take a couple coats. So you may wanna give it a coat and then move over and you're going to paint the rest of her dress, which is this area here, and the sleeves, with royal fuchsia. And that will take a couple of coats also. It doesn't need to be completely opaque. There's so much that goes on top of it that you don't need to worry about it. A couple of coats will do. And then the next thing is her collar, which is above and below her hands and the broom. So you want to paint that in with golden yellow. And golden yellow, a couple of coats will do it. So we have the, the little underdress, the dress, and the collar done. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to base in that broom handle. Now, I went ahead and taped it off because sometimes I get a little anal. So I taped off top and bottom. And you're going to base that in with sable brown. Now I want you to notice here that I took the broom handle all the way up to this tie here that goes around the broom head. 
So because you might be able to see some of that when you're after you're done stroking your broom head on. So that is just based in with sable brown. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to paint in her face and her hands with coral shell. So um, that'll take a couple of coats. Um, don't add water to your, your brush. Just pick up paint and go to it. You'll get much better coverage that way. And then you want to dry her face and her hands. And you want to put the pattern on for her eyes. You might as well put on her nose and her mouth. And then you paint in her eyes and the inside of her mouth, not the lip that's below her mouth, but her eyes and her mouth with lamp black. And as long as you have lamp black at, out, you might as well go ahead and paint in her hat, the top of the hat and the brim. And then the hat band here is based in with Laguna. You have a little frog over here. He's based in with Irish moss. And then you're going to base in your cat with graphite. And uh, we're going to get messy on the cat. So don't worry about it too much. One coat should do on him. And then we'll kind of rebase uh, the parts that get hit with her hair afterwards. But And notice the hair. I just kind of put scraggle the edges here to show where her hair is going to go. And I also put the pattern on for the broom head because I want to know where I'm going to stroke those pieces of straw on. So we have, this is your base painting that should be done uh, before class. And you can go ahead and put the pattern on to separate her fingers and her nose this little separation in the hat. You can put the pattern on for the frog and for the kitty cat's uh, face and ears. And you should be all set and ready to go. I'm looking forward to this and I hope you are too. Thanks so much for joining me for this prep video and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to email me. You can even call me and we'll we'll get things going for you just like that i'll see you soon